Look at these absolutely beautiful knees on this cypress tree. While we have a lot of ideas about why these may exist, we aren't exactly sure. Cypress knees are these pointy root protrusions that grow from the shallow horizontal roots of bald and pond cypress trees. Look here, you can see where this one juts out from its horizontal root. They're formed on the upper surface of these roots by the layer that produces the xylem and the phloem, which are tissues that transport water and nutrients through the tree. And for a long time, people thought knees helped the tree breathe like pneumatophores of mangroves. Cypress can grow in flooded soils with low oxygen, so the idea was that these knees act like snorkels, pulling air down to the roots. But a 19 1952 experiment from Duke University covered knees with wax, made an airtight seal, and measured oxygen consumption of the rest of the tree, expecting it to go up to compensate for lack of knee air. It did not, and they concluded that knees are not that important for aeration. But later lab work did show that an exposed knee can boost oxygen in its attached root, and a recent study looked at their inner knee structure like you might slice open a trunk and peek at the rings. They found that the knees may aerate the inner bark in the knee itself, but perhaps not enough for in the same way that pneumatophores do. Also, trees without knees can survive just fine in the same conditions, or even conditions with more water or without knees. So the aeration theory kind of doesn't hold up. Another theory for knees is stability in that they may help anchor massive trees in soft, swampy soil, but knees don't consistently grow where extra support would matter most. Other researchers think that knees may help with nutrient storage since they have relatively high levels of starch, but it's unclear why only some trees would need this auxiliary storage. So here we are surrounded by these weird little root structures studied for hundreds of years. A good reminder that the fun part is asking the question and that nature doesn't owe us explanations. A gentle dose of intellectual humility. If you like nature and science, give me a follow.